Neptune has a good angle on the Heaven Plays and now knows there is the jet up top, but damage is being dealt to both teams. Shock Dart's coming through. The health is so low, but Gangs is opening things up. Neptune trying to one more. Gmo and Neptune again. It's all down to Vice here. Sully crashing down for Cloud9 on the pistol. Oh, Vice. Nothing you can really do. Waiting for re-aggression. B market, B main. Neptune. <sighs> Eliminated though, and it's a 3v3 as the hit will come in towards it. And that's one of the good things about having Neptune on your team. He's a really good lurk. He was really good on Morning Light as the Omen, and now he's on the Cypher. He's got a lot more opportunities, and one has just opened up on this A bomb site. JC Stani straight through the smoke has sprayed down Mitch, and now it's just down to two. Planted. Vice needs the charge. He only has a Bulldog. Relic's not too far behind him. He's picked up a Phantom, but this is a very difficult site to retake, especially when you're in this 2vx situation. A lot of retakes from this A site, you have that Odin. You have that firepower to clear out all of Heaven. And Heaven is such a valuable position on this retake. You drop down, you don't know what's coming. You don't know if anyone's under hell. But here's the first kill. Vice, triple headshot, straight into Gangsta off the Bulldog burst. And now there's two more to find, but they're dancing around. They can hold this position. Neither of them have to move. And the fact that Relics gets hit by his own teammate's fault line makes it a little bit more difficult. But they've cleared it out in Vice's drop for the triple. A first round on the board for Cloud9, and they make it look so easy despite the lack of utility, despite the lack of manpower. But they still get it done to find the first. Drone. I doubt that's gonna stop him from taking this peak regardless. Here he comes. Nothing really in Shinobi. Look at all this noise that's going by him and Shinobi chooses the perfect moment to strike. The door doesn't get closed and Shinobi's gifted that opportunity. Four versus five. The spike will go down and this isn't impossible here for Immortals but sure as hell is going to be difficult. It is an uphill battle for Immortals. Definitely not the best chance scenario for them to win. They are on two as opposed to rifles but they can still get something done. They've already done a lot with that spike plan. A couple kills oh, going their feet. way could change things massively. The Rolling Thunder might just pull it back. Dinx is able to get one. Neptune chimes in as well. 3v3 back to the way of Immortals now as they're things down. Shot up has a good little reposition. A chance for two. And he's going to land both headshots. Looking for one last shot up again. With his aim against T1 on both sides. Shot up is here to stay. Shot up blind. It's not going to matter. He mows down both. And Neptune might just miss the opportunity to get the flank. And indeed he does. Relics chimes in. But it's down to Vice here to help out on the A side. Might just wait for his teammates to come back and help him out on the retake though. There is an upgrade. Whatever Neptune had is now in the hands of Cloud9. They should definitely go for this. It's going to be a phantom for Relics. But overall still it should favor the side of Immortals. Again, they're on the T side or the attacking side of Ascent Sully. And they're looking to get a 4-1 lead over Cloud9. Shot up a third kill. That's six in as many ra in two rounds. That's a fantastic bit of work from him. He still has chance for more. 4v2, though, should stabilize things for Immortals. Shot up spots out one more. That's Vice coming up the ramp. But I think he'll exit out with one of his teammates. Maybe go the safe way through Garden. Either way, though, Vice will get JMO down for the count. That's a good pick. Maybe something picked up for the side of Cloud9. Vice with another shot up though with the oh, ace comes to make this comeback happen because essentially you're looking at a three round deficit and it's only just the beginning but there's a start and there's a beginning here on this b bomb side relic picks up the first player goes over but doesn't go over the wall so relics he's alive and he has the first kill but they have the b bomb site for now alert being called out here as vice takes down a second which is stuck in this fight as tense comes and finds him it's now just down to one what can he do here theoretically jc stani not much as relics finds him in the back with the operator second round here for cloud nine as the mortals are shut down on the b bomb site it's a good bit of operator work with both Ren, or Relics rather, and Tens chiming in for some good kills. Good work on the op. They looked insane. Nobody nobody could take them down, and for a period of time, they looked to enter that tier one atmosphere and find themselves so many invites, but ultimately, I think with a loss of shot, that's going to hurt a lot, but he lands himself a spot on the Immortals lineup, and I think it's very well deserved. His vice, he himself has got to earn a spot. He goes down. Not much he can do for Cloud9 on this B-bomb set as Neptune finds a double. Great stuff from both the Morning Light players. Is now a two versus three. The spike will finally go down eventually. Unfortunately, Banks has no idea what to do now. He's stuck by the lockdown and stuck in the back of the boathouse. Mitch finds his head and makes it a third round for Cloud9. So, and I think one thing too that Cloud9 might be able to pick up on is that wherever Neptune goes, it seems to be a lurk. Tens, however, is getting the opening kill on the shot up. That's going to be a great start. Take out the very inflammatory player of shot up. Make sure he can do no more. In comes the rolling thunder, but it's not going to be enough to stall the push just yet. Time is still on the factor for immortals. It's still in their face. Just a bit. 
Vice will not get that initial duel against JC Stanny. Vice will finally win it, and Relics will... Well, Relics left. through the wall does some damage, but nobody can get Neptune. In comes Mitch on the Operator Salvage. Tens, and he's going to pick up Strahd up. JMO now 1v4, will go for a flick, but not able to land the shot. His shoulders, here's the footsteps, the dash goes through, but here it comes, the swing comes through. Mitch, 1-2, Shinobi chimes in for a third. Vice with a fourth here, and JMO will manage one more, but it's... Oh, they're trying to make this work, but Shinobi, they're holding it down. A really good old from Zenz and Shinobi, as one goes dashing through, and down they both go. Shinobi has taken two lives for the price of one. His shot up finally gets a trade back, but at what cost? At what cost indeed, because they haven't stepped through on this site. And it's a two versus three now, Boggs. And the spikes down in the full view of Cloud9. Relics eliminates Gangsta leaving him in. However, JC Stanny has Yin Yang with his opposition and shot up is with him. Gangsta's working his way through the gardens as well. Nobody's coming up long. And that's where Tens is. The dark cover goes up, but shot up sends Shinobi down. And it's all down to Tens who swings for one. Low HP on shot up two. Tens has another, and he's looking for the clutch. He is getting forced away. Low HP on both these two players. JC Stanny caught in the open though. JC Stanny taking all the damage. And Tens is gonna pull it off! That was and he has shot up, up above him, but it's gonna be another A hit. Paint shells come through, JC, or Gangsta trying to do what he can with the Odin. Not able to do much, however. Now shot up has been forced away as well. JC Stanny will find one from under, and a second shot up pops for a third from up top. JC Stanny and shot up holding down the B site. JC Stanny three from under. Immortal sweat here. JMO has a lot of work to do to hold things down. In goes the Nano Swarm though. Shot up's gonna run right into it. JMO swings. He's gonna take too much damage though, but he knows now where one more is. That's gonna be huge. Shot up with three again. Shot up is unstoppable right now. So pistols to play with. But they have the sight and they have the angles where pistols are very advantageous. Through the shadows comes through, but Ten's not able to capitalize on it, but neither is JC Stan in turn. Ten's eliminated by Shot Up, who's gonna continue to push forward, has the overheal now. He's gonna continue to try and make an entry onto the site. Showstopper is out, but Shinobi's eliminated. Shot up. JC standing meanwhile, it takes down Mitch. Relics go from the back line with the frenzy in hand. We'll get mowed down though by Gangsta and JMO. It's all down to Relics and Gangsta Garden, at least early on. Could rotate up through middle, but that Odin's gonna be a tough gun to deal with. The shadows though onto the B site goes Shinobi. That could open things up. Shot up though has dropped Relics, and he's gonna wow, push down so onto Shinobi smart. as well. More opportunities for Shot up and a third. Healing once more. Now Gangsta will find the thing too is that Immortals have only been using one up. Cloud Nine's rounds on the defense came with the double up setup, and that was the imperative factor there. The CO was that double up. The Ooh, that's a good win by Relics, though. The Vandal will... Exactly what's up. He sits back, he waits, he watches. It's a one-way. Neptune, he goes swinging, and he goes big. Can he find more, though? Yes, he can, Neptune. Neptune and Gangsta. That's from across the map, Boggs. That's from across Ooh. the map, and the Hunter's Fury travel... Got three to fill the spot. I mean, you've got Shot Up, you've got Neptune. Both have been playing really good together for quite some time, and JC Stani... He's been flushed out early in this round, oh unfortunately. Life. And that's the Gates problem, is that it's just Neptune. This isn't the B set where you've got Gangsta's insane Odin spray down. You've just got Get Neptune here. Way. Shot up has arrived, and you know what he can do. And you know what he brings to the table. He's already brought one, but down goes Neptune. And now it's time for Shot up to step to the plate, and he's found a second. Three bolts in the magazine. Has to go for the reload. It's a 3v3 retake now, and you've got to be careful. jmo has got another on the nine, but Shot up. Him and Gangs have to work together. They're the B site players, and they're getting it done. It's just down the vice in a one versus two to tie the game up and tie it. He will not. Shot up comes up big again with another triple and gives Immortals map point on ascent. Some big opportunities for Cloud9, but what's the plan? What, where do you go? It doesn't necessarily reach the entire B site. Yes, it stretched the defense a little bit thin as Shot Up is going to make a very long rotation and wait even longer, but oh, JMO full blind finds the first and gang stuff. You know what his own is capable of. You know what they're capable of. And there it is, Immortal. They take map number one. They were down to... Good start. I mean, Cloud9, you're on the attack inside. A very spike. defensive base map, and you want all this all the success you can build up early on. It's all about how many rounds can we get? How how much of a control do we have on this game? And currently this round, they've got a pretty strong control on it. They've got a firm grasp on it, but a triple swing. This could get a little bit dicey, but Shinobi makes it adjust. 
Watchman gets away, throws out the paranoia. Now they're calm. Now they're safe as Relics and Shinobi dominate down towards middle with a double. Shinobi makes it four as he cleans them up and mops them one by one. Tens finds the final and fifth kill in Cloud9. RC. And with the tiny gap in the smoke that's been presented, it shot up. It gets a little bit scary as he pulls out the showstopper, trying to send a message. He sent Relics down below, and that's given Immortals a very, very early man advantage as they find themselves now in a four versus five. It's a good use of the showstopper there from Shada, but he is going to have his brain removed as Ten swings in with the Vandal. Shinobi has broken the tripwire down in the rope, so now they know that he was in the, very least in the vicinity as Shinobi will vacate the position. Still, 4v4. Gangsta holding in through heaven will dodge those bolts as they go by his head. Neptune will catch the lurk of Mitch out towards A. Cloud9 have mid control, but nothing else. They've just been stalling out again, kind of reminiscent of what they did on on ascent for so many rounds it just stalled out in the middle and couldn't find anything else vice though will spray down ganks that's a great prediction 30 there. seconds left it's leaving a lot of work on jc standing shoulders he'll dodge the first flash will dodge the second as well in comes the hit jc standy goes one for one but it's shinobi there right for the trade the spike should be going down quickly here as neptune and jmo have to rotate in they spike both planted. seem to be going for that heaven vicinity and shinobi will just back into the back corner vice will hold behind the pillar this could be deadly and dangerous. Both players coming from the same angle, though. But Neptune might just catch one off. We'll get caught out instead. In comes the fault line, but both players dodge. The paranoia will force them back. Shinobi a chance on one. Down goes Neptune. Jamo has to swing, but he walks into too many players. And it's Shinobi with three. Shinobi having... Pulls out, a, pulls out a force field and everything. Neptune has got one of his own as he's invincible out towards ramp. A quick double on 46 HP, but it's going to be difficult to cross. Surely he goes down here, the third player approaching. Neptune has done damage, though. Yes, he's gone down, but he's done enough in that position. Finds two and gets damage on to the third. The spike goes down, and now a three versus four bogs. Still, the spike is down. There's a decent defensive position here. Shinobi has a good angle. Vice does as well. Immortals are taking their time, though, and it's good to see they don't need to rush anything. They're looking for an opening that they haven't found. Comes Vice, though, trying to do some damage. Shot up chimes in from up top, though, and he's going to drop Shinobi as well. So Disciplined Valorant. They have not been over-aggressive. Oh, my wild. And it's been very successful for them so far. Neptune's going to get all the info he needs. One and two up the ropes. Three on the round. The time to avail the kill for Shinobi. No! Still standing as one of the best in North America, Bog. They are indeed... Oh, Relics goes down, but the paint shell from the grave will trade out onto Neptune. That's a good answer back for Cloud9, but it's not going to be enough here as they're still down a man. It's a 4v3 for Immortals, but they do have ropes control, which is something. Vice might be able to catch JMO off guard if he catches him out in the open, but that tripwire destruction should clue in a little bit more. They're just working out onto the site, but let some sheriff shots fly. However, JC Stanley is still alive, and he'll drop that paranoia into the B main. He'll hold the angle. He's taking more damage, though, and he will fade away with a little bit of his health left alone. Vice has left. done more damage, but shot ups chimed Last in. However, only JMO has health, but JC Stanley swings, lands the head shot onto Mitch, and it's all down to Vice, who's running in, making all the noise in the world, and shot up his server, ladies and gentlemen. He's been quiet. We haven't had to say his name, but that's when you need him. And Shinobi steps up as well. They're all coming alive as Shinobi finds three. And we've got a 4v2. And Cloud9 are poised to tie things up now. Good Spectre frags from Shinobi. Last yes, he's in his pistols, but it's still good composure in that position. Tens chimes in with the orb in towards main relics. Will still watching. But in comes the teleport from JC Stanley, though. It's going to yield some more information. But still, 30 seconds to go. Nobody's 30 seconds left. Either way. But in it comes. Down goes Relics. Still Vice on site. Has a chance for more. He will get two, but Jamo will do the same. Neptune is low on health, however. And he has been capped off by Mitch in heaven. Rotations way. coming through to B. The spike yet to go down. It will indeed. And Jamo's popped the blades. But still, he has Gangsta with him. Jamo unable to find anything, though. Gangsta 1v3. Has the first, and he has to rotate. No curveball, but he could get a hot hands with one more kill. He's falling away. Peak by one. One. Holds down oh. mouse one, but Mitch is gangsta so close and yet it's frail, it's fragile. They're on the verge of bankruptcy now. They've gone aggressive down the middle. Shot him, sends a rocket back, and has taken you one life. Gangsta immediately finds relics back on top of the boxes. And that's the advantage they were looking for. A lockdown that's gonna force them back to the A site. But the problem is there's only one player there, tens.
He's only one man. What can he do? Look that lockdown, it keeps both the other players on that B bomb side. It stops these rotations from being made in tens. He's all alone. He's all alone. And they're not even going towards A. Down he goes. And now it's just two before Immortals find around 11. And Cloud9 have got no cast to play with. Mitch could still pull this round back if they hit his sight, but look at Neptune in the back lines. I think that's exactly what Mitch is aware of, too. It's going to be a B hit coming in from Cla or from Immortals, but Mitch, if you can eliminate Neptune, that could be something. It brings back to a 2v3, and Gangsta is low on health, and Mitch will do just left. that. The hit hasn't come in just yet. Mitch has a perfect opportunity. His turret gets the information, but the dark cover goes through. Mitch taking sprays, but he's not taking any heads off. He's not killing anybody. The swarm grenade goes through. The nano swarm is out and activated. But still the spike yet to go down. That's JC Standy trying to get the plant. Turret goes through. Time is oh so low. But now JC Standy can get the plant. It comes through with seven on the clock. But now it's a 3v2 hold. Again, Gangsta is low. Vice in the heavens. And Mitch working in through the back lines. Mitch, can he blindside anybody? Can JMO's op do something? These are the questions right now for both these two teams. JMO trying to peek too many different angles at once. Could get caught off here. Mitch should be able to eliminate Gangsta if he clears the corner properly. Flashbang goes in and Gangsta's down and dead to right. JMO misses and JC Stanny falls. Mitch is doing it all. The sidearm's out and JMO lands the health. Eight points of health. And now the spike has been tapped, but it can't, it's being a little bit risky if he wants to, as there are five players waiting for that swing. Smokes go down and Relics is out of the fight. Nothing he can do to stop them. Nothing he can do to delay. And Neptune strikes first. Relics finds himself the first kill on his number. And now it's a three versus three, as still Mitch is alive, but he's holding with the operator towards B main. And this is such an awkward angle bug. This is so, so awkward. Nearly goes down, but stays alive. And again, it's a two versus three that they've got to pull off. I have to shot up is low. He's 4 HP, so it's kind of essentially a 2v2. They just have to eliminate shot up because shot up can still be deadly with that low health. Tens, though, catches JMO out for free. Shot up eliminates Mitch, but it's a 2v1 and it's tens alive. The Empress activated in the overheal in full effect. He can go on tangible, he can do whatever he needs. The first base is Gangsta, and that's perfect for tens. He lines up with shot up as well. That's going to get map point to Cloud9, but not map point, Sully. Immortals won that first map on both of the maps that we've seen so far, but who comes out on top? It's still doable for Immortals. They've got guns and they've got weaponry, but JMO, he needs to step up. He doesn't have that operator and down he goes. He steps down a little bit as Mitch. Plenty of time to adjust. Lockdown at the ready to secure the B-bomb, so there's not a lot they can do now. Nothing at all. TP even. And the lockdown in place. Shot up. Stuck in the heavens. He's got nowhere to run. He's looking for some space, but there are two players on his backside, and with four seconds until he's locked down, he's not going to get anything. Three versus Jump's five, over. and we might Look just dead. be seeing that third and final map box, because who's waiting and watch? It's ten. Gangsta, he has created some space, but down he goes. Great flash from ten, and it's three to find. Three to go, and ten has made it one, as now it's just Gangsta. He's got no HP, and... Else looks pretty much the same for the side of Immortals, except for shot up on the Reina this time, instead of the Rays. Yeah. This is the map that Immortals got stomped on as well, so this is a little, little bit difficult. Split and Haven were definitely not their pieces of the pie. Mitch finds the first though. This triple duelist lineup works really well on the attacking side and is presented 10 and has found a second. Quick stuff already. They go to the C site instead. They had full control of B, but they decided to wrap around. Gangsta has no choice but to sit back and watch. A 4v3 now on the pistol round, and the spike is already down here. This is difficult for Immortals to play around. Because look at this angle being held. There are two players watching the defensive spawn, and it's warranted in both the kills. Gangsta only able to find one in that engagement. Leaves Neptune, the new boy for Immortals, in a one versus three. Neptune, he does have the skill to be able to pull this off, but will he be able to? We'll get a dink and a follow-up kill onto Relics. Tapping away onto the fellow Cypher. Eliminates Vice, and it's all down to him versus Shinobi. Time. It's there for Neptune if he wins this duel. Taps the spike, walks around, has the dome, and I believe he has it, Sully. I think Neptune might have just won this. It's going to be close. Has he got it? He, he doesn't. Oh. No. Haven. So expect something big from them. But this round, nothing too major. Quick dash on in. JMO up top, dashing away as well. They're playing together. And Relics. Relics is taken down to one, but wow. Neptune still stands strong. He does go down at the very end, but it leaves him now in a two versus three. But you have to remember who's alive, and it's Tens. If Tens finds the form again, Bulldog in his hand, a dream in their heads, and a 1v3, he's got to pull off. He can't find Shut Up. He gets away, and Tens... 
they're going for a flank, but that trip layer has sold their plan. They've already got it. They've already tapped the spike. They're already sticking it. And while Tenza sprayed them down, there's more to come. Two versus three. Shinobi's on the flank, and they're not ready for it. They're 100% not ready. Shinobi strikes for one. Shinobi backs away, and there's no time for shot off. A one versus two, Boggs. He can tap the spike all day long. No. Wait. They stuck no. down, and he just won it. Shut up. I did not think they stuck out in the hands. There's gonna be a flash up. The smoke goes through. Mitch goes in, but Jamo's eliminated. One. Jamo's what the, what live. The? He's gonna run into Mitch. Down goes Shinobi 2. Vice will trade as will Relics in the 2v2. Just about as soon as we started this execution onto the site. But C has been left, left a little bit alone. Vice trying to cross the garage. Gangsta will spot that cypher cage. The camera goes up. Gangsta should have heard it. But Neptune has to lock things down. Oh. Relic walks into him, and now they all know where the last player is. It's Vice in a 1v2 getting split upon, and Gangsta catches him out. The timing goes his way. A spike plant comes through from Cloud9, but it's far from enough, Sully, as Immortals will move to a 5-1 scoreline. We've just passed the halfway point of this half, and it's been... It's clearly represented by the scoreline and the scoreboard as JC Stani straight on down a little bit of luck, and he finds a kill. What more can he get? Has to go for the reload. Tens is ready with the Leer. Out it comes and down they go. Ooh, JC Stani. Not able to cross to the box in time with the Sea Sight. It's in their possession for the Hunter's Fury. It'll keep them off it for now. And shot up. He's evading death. He's evading the shots from Tens. And they've still got the man advantage with the Empress of Darkness called upon. Will shot up through the save. He won't as he goes down. Gangsta looking for that trade. Gets it through the barrier. And now it's just down to two. Tens and Relics. The stars of the show, and they've got to line up. They've got to align here as Ted, he sits and waits, finds the first and darts away. He's still got an intangible adjustment to be made. And Relics, one versus two, has got it down to just one. 70 HP, and the spike, it's being tapped, it's being stuck. Gangsta, he's held onto it, but he's gone off it now. They're dancing around the boxes. Who comes out on top? It's Relics. It's a fuck. Gangsta, nothing he can do. He has to back away, Immortals. It has to be a 5v4 retake. They could have held it down with the two there, but now with the spike down, positions will be taken and the lockdown begins for Cloud9 to find round number four. Shinobi has a good angle in towards Garage. We'll take a bit of damage though. Still does have Vice helping out in through Garage. Shinobi finally gets pushed in. He gets traded out, but I don't know if the Mortals are going to be able to get anything back here. Gangsta looking for something, but the Neural Theft comes in from Vice. That's going to reveal the positions, but Neptune trades him out. 3v2 on the retake here for Immortals. His time is going to take a little lower. Tens is still alive though. He's on the boxes. He's dropping one. He gets traded out by Jamo. Mitch is low, and I think time might have just... Oh, well, that is not how you say it. I know that for a fact. So I just suck at sayings. But I can say one thing. I can say one thing is that Mitch, did he just he just jumped across and found a kill? Okay. Yeah. Mitch with the blade storm has found the first. A 4v5 already to open it up. Where's the trade back? Neptune. Position revealed by the Boomba. And that's where things slow down. Cloud9, I love this. The patience. It's so well played and spam down. Neptune. Be careful where you step, my friend. Be careful while you fret, because you've lost your life to relics. Re-aggression here, but there's no trade. He can't find that kill. There's nothing here for the side of Immortals. And they're storming the sea site. Tripwire goes up. There's only one man. JC Stani. JC Stani stands. He's got two. Can't find the third, but he's created a chance for Gangsta, who unfortunately can't capitalize. It's just down to one. And Jamo and a 1v2 to end the half 7 to 5. Or else we go to a tied scoreline to start things off in half number two. Cage triggered. Gangsta. Has to get at least one there to give Immortals a chance, but it's a brilliant bit of work there by Cloud9 to take the site. JC Stanley did so much to bring it back, but it's not going to be enough. Jamo dart, darts through, he's pushing for Vice versus but it gets taken down in the end, and still, three up long, two up short. Four Immortals, they look to hit the site, but you know he's here to shut things down. One for him, double, and shot up will take out Relics. Gangsta trades it back, though, it's a 3v3, a chance for a plant. No, Tens is here, and he's arrived with the Bulldog. 2v3, but still a chance. Tripwire busted, and Gangsta strikes Tens down. The rotations are coming through, but there's a lot of time, and a Bulldog picked up for JC Stanny. The dash on the site, it's been spotted, but Mitch and Lear. So many trades to happen. But Cloud9, they don't have any ults left to work with. It's all going to be down to the aim. They have flashes on the reign of the paranoia of the omen. Shot up is a good angle towards anybody on heaven. Neptune down underneath the heavens. That's a chance from dark, but it's all going to come down to who can hit the first shots here. Ooh. Vice will eliminate Shot up, who swung out wide. It's a good opening start here. Tens will follow up with one more. Shinobi and Mitch mop up two. They're not done yet. 
This is their map. This is one of their best, but unfortunately, Tens is showing why he is still the best. He's still to be reckoned with on this server, and Tens makes it look so damn easy. A triple as he leaps out in front of the smoke and Neptune. Neptune, Neptune, Neptune. No want to see. This is the Tens that everybody loves. This is the Tens that we need. He gets the first, and he's got that information, and three have arrived. Blade thrown out. What can Mitch get? Nothing. Neptune and Jamal have denied, but Relics in the afterlife. He's created the slightest of hopes that Boomba connects onto one and even finds Neptune on such low HP. This is winnable now. Tens, he's got a rifle in his hand, and what has he got? He's got an ultimate in full HP. Tens, Leers go out both, and Tens wins the first. Goes intangible, doesn't take the heal. He might have wanted that instead. He oh, used that HP man. advantage. Gangsta, full blind still gets it. And Vice. JC standing to get. That's also C site opened. Yes, there's no rotations back to the site. Shinobi's instead going to take initiative in towards Garage. That's still opening room. That's still space gained by Immortals. Dark cover is going out. Lear goes up. Relic's trying to hold down the site. The showstopper is popped. He will oh. send it, but it's going to connect with nothing. His shots, however, do. JMO falls. Neptune, Vice, JC, Steady, and Tens all finding frags. It's now devolved into a 2v2. Tens still spraying. The neural theft is there. The lineup, but Gangsta will shut him down. The spike plant coming through, and it's Vice in a 1v2. We've seen Vice win these before this game, Sully. Vice trying to do it again to win the matchup with the first. Goes no. for the second, but Gangsta is there to end it. No. They're footing, but can they hold on to it? It's starting to slip. It's starting to slide for both of these teams, and it's uncertain who is to thrive. JMO, oh, a missed shot. Relics has taken the first life in Neptune. They don't know exactly where he is, but it didn't really matter. Tenzel's bound to flush him out, and there's the opening they were hoping for. 30 Immortals. seconds left. Their name Fight still stands, planted. but for how long are they immortal? Five versus three. Gangsta in the heavens. It's a retake that has to commence. A recon bolt at the ready. What does that reveal, though? It's a lot of it. I think it's going to get rid of Tens. And there will be discerning of his position. But Vice, he's fighting this lurk. Did not expect that. Shot up. He finds one. Shot up. Finds two. Can he find a third? He's holding on to this game. Barely. Ever so slightly. As Vice finally will put an end to his antics. Leaving Gangsta to die alone. 13 to 12 in Cloud9. That's the start they were looking for. This is exactly the read that Cloud9 need. They have tens left. here. They have relics in the back site. They have three on C in a fast rotation. The dark cover goes out, but it's an Odin to watch the cross. And tens is just going to push on forward. The leer goes through. But no kills coming through just yet. Gang's done. Shot up. Two quick kills. Spike goes down. Shot up gets mowed down, but no more further from tens just yet. 4v3. But JMO is low. Time. Starting to tickle away, but there's plenty of it for Cloud9 on this retake. All four remaining players of Immortals are out and removed from this B site. Smokes and cages going up to try and facilitate a ninja. But oh. JMO's watching from up above. Down goes Mitch. The defuse is being stuck though. Vice has two. Gangs to one more. But through the wall. Surely not. Oh. Neptune swings into the nickel. Number three. They were comparable to both Gen G and Cloud9. And they're taking on one of them. Cloud9 have to win this round to send us to a third overtime. Smokes go down and there's a start. Mitch. JMO trades it back, but there is a crossfire being held. Relics can no longer hold it though. He's still holding on though. He's still left. holding mouse one. Holy. He's still looking for kills. Relics reload. Down he goes to the three versus two. One and LA Shinobi, here he comes and it's tens. The young gun to try and win this one out. He has an operator and nothing else, Boggs. He's got it.